Okay, here I'm going to explain what fuzzy logic is. Now, fuzzy logic, if you're looking at carbon dioxide controllers, often it's listed here, fuzzy logic mode, fuzzy logic active. And what does that exactly mean? Now, if you find controllers that do have this as an option, those tend to be the better controllers, and you'll understand why that is a little bit behind the technology of fuzzy logic. Well, first off, uh, standard controllers. So a standard CO2 controller are either on or off based on preset CO2 levels. So it's kind of like flipping a light switch, on or off. These do not allow enough time for carbon dioxide to mix with the air. Um, standard logic CO2 controllers are used for CO2 generators, but are not efficient to be used with bottle-based systems. So this on and off, the light is either on or off. With fuzzy logic, though, consider it to be a light on a dimmer switch. We're having this variability or this banding that can occur. So those controls with fuzzy logic, they allow for that precise control. Again, these are, think of our light example here. We can precisely dial in what that light intensity should be. It makes predictions based on past events to create an environment uh, that hovers around the target CO2 level without large degrees of variation. That includes large degrees of overshooting or large degrees of undershooting. The only thing important to remember that fuzzy logic cannot be used with CO2 generators, only for bottle-fed systems. So when you're looking at a controller, it might say here, it says true fuzzy logic. Um, that can be something preferable to look at and consider when purchasing a controller for your own operation. So fuzzy logic related to temperature. Fuzzy has many applications. Essentially, it can allow for variable conditions that can be a mix of different situations rather than simply being on or off. See the example here with temperature. Instead of just having hot or cold options, there can be a mix to get this warm, to generate a warm water uh, combination here. So again, fuzzy logic, instead of being on or off, hot or cold, it allows kind of that mixing to occur here to have that kind of warm um, temperature possibility. The fuzzy logic concept can be compared also to a good driver. So a good driver that approaches a red light will apply the brakes gradually to slow down before getting to the intersection. Fuzzy logic uses the same idea to bring the, bring the CO2 levels up to the desired setting without going over the set. If we're looking at a standard controller and the um, driver example here, the brakes would either be fully on or fully off. It'd be kind of one option or the other. That fuzzy logic allows for that greater gradual kind of control over the situation here um, versus just on or off. That's what helps make them more efficient. They use microprocessors, so within this unit is a microprocessor that can apply calculations to the injection schedule to maintain CO2 levels efficiently. Standard logic controllers will not make these calculations and they'll continue to inject more and more CO2 until the room reaches the set point and then turn them off. But at that point, if the air wasn't mixed properly, uh, that can cause an overshoot and then it can drop down to a certain level and then keep injecting, keep injecting. Um, that can cause some issues. Having this microprocessor, this applying calculations, ensures that while they might be more expensive initially, it can help ensure that the CO2 that is being added to the, the grow room is added in an efficient manner based on calculations of the conditions over time. And this is why they're advised to be used for growers um, to find a controller if you're adding CO2 from a bottle to get the ones that have the fuzzy logic mode as an option.